Raja, you cannot be doing that, ma'am. That was not approved by corporate. I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library, where I post reading, writing, book, and planner-related content a couple of times a week. Today is going to be a bookshelf reorganization video. As per usual, this is Jessica from the future talking to you about things that are going to happen in the past. I actually started this bookshelf reorganization two or three weeks ago. Um, got sick in the middle of it and then only had like one shelf done. Hated what was done. Had to redo everything. It was a time and uh, we're going to take you back in time to past Jessica and let her show you the process. Well, it is very dark over in this area and very bright over in this area because that's how it works here. Basically, this is the plan. We're going to start over here. You can't see over here, but we're going to start over here. Let, let's let's show you. We're gonna start in this corner right here where that stack of books is going up and down. And I'm gonna pull those and quite a few off the top of the row there and possibly all the way over to that box right there. And then once I have those down, I can go through and put everything in alphabetical order up to there. So it's a giant mess up there. We've got a lot of books. We've got a lot of side stacked books from where we've been uh, just putting things wherever because I knew I wanted to do this at some point. So I'm gonna start up here, pull some books off the shelves and we'll see how it goes. As soon as I find my step ladder. Hi doggies, what are you doing? Dancing around in circles? Are you being good doggies? You look like you're being good doggies. No, it's not time yet. Go lay down, be good puppies. Growl at me. That was rude. Ooh, Raja, you almost got your tail in the door, my dude. That was close. I'm down here, you can't see me. But if at any point in this video, you see a Wednesday books cover, no you didn't. This is just a stack of Christmas books. I kind of hate it, honestly. I kind of hate it. The sprint's almost over, so I'm gonna think about it during this next chatty bit and see how I feel because I kind of hate it. Well, hello, friends. It has now been two weeks since we last seen each other here in this land of books and shelves. If you were here, which I don't know how you got there, got here and weren't there. Anyway, I hate it. I hate it so much. 
I hate all of the things. Then I got sick. So what we're going to do instead is I am going to first clean up this mess right here on this desk. And then I'm going to pull every book off of the shelf, sort my genre, and then figure out what I'm going to do from there. So um, that's, that's going to be what we're doing for the next foreseeable future. I will be, while this is happening, reading A Death in Door County by Annalise Ryan. I don't know if this is what I was reading last time, but I haven't finished it yet. So I'll be reading this and sorting books and living my best life, I guess. I will not be taking you along for the sorting the books journey, but I will show you what it looks like when they're all sorted. Okay, it is the next day now. Um, my microphone is charging, so sound difference. Um, so I've sorted stuff out. This is science fiction. These shelves are all YA contemporary, but with magic. It's like modern day magic. Um, these are adult romance with magic, adult romance without magic. Back there I've got a stack of Sanderson and then a stack of adult fantasy. I've got a tiny stack of nonfiction. Those are both graphic novels. Up there in the dark you shall see all of my Rochelle Mead and all of my Amanda Hawking. Didn't feel like moving those yet because I'm not sure where they're going but just keeping them together. Speaking of people we're keeping together, uh, down here is all Cassandra Clare. Over here on the shelf of Doom, I have, what do I have over here? Those are for videos. This shelf is all of my Darcy coats and horror, and this is all like literature-y. Over here we have, this stack is YA modern day-ish mystery thrillers. This stack is YA um, historical no magic and these two stacks are YA historical ish with magic so things that are like high fantasy but kind of like a non-techie world these two stacks are my adult mystery thriller I don't think there's any horror in there but they might be because they tend to be a little mixed around mm, this is just a VE Schwab stack this is mid-grade no magic these two stacks here, this one and this one, these are mid-grade with magic. I still have my Rick Riordan up there. If I do this, it gets better light. So Rick Riordan is there, and then those are like the nostalgia books. And these that you see here are my contemporary YA no magic um, that are sorted sort of somewhat by alphabetical, and they are all going to go right there if I can get them to fit there. So that's gonna be the first thing that we do for the day. I also currently have the world's shittiest voice. So, go me. Probably not gonna show you much of this because I feel like death at this moment in time. Uh, and I do need to still film like three videos today. So, how much of this will you see? As you don't know. It's dark over here. I could open this curtain. Look at that. Sunlight. Ta-da. That's what we're doing. We're sorting them now alphabetically now that they're by age category and then genre and then magic no magic and then vibe I guess is going to be where they are on the shelves themselves. And I plan to split up my Susan Dennard books and my Lunar Chronicles because I have two copies of Lunar Chronicles and I have 57 copies of my Susan Dennard books. And I do like to split them up so it's not just like a whole shelf of Susan Dennard. I sound like death. So we'll see what happens. Welcome to day 5,492 of <laughs> me reorganizing my bookshelves. The lighting is not that great tonight because it is nighttime which means there's no daylight to help with the lighting situation. Um, but let's take a look at what I have so far. As mentioned, I ended up putting a lot of my more nostalgic reads along the top. So I've got like all of my Cassie Clare and then my Rochelle Mead and then Amanda Hawking on the top. And I have all of the YA contemporary 
mostly non-magic. There's a little bit of stuff with some ghosts in there, but not much. And then my other nostalgia reads, House of Night, Beautiful Creatures, uh, what's that one series called? Hunger Games, etc. And then the next shelf down, I have a stack of memoirs or true crime, whatever things, and then a very small collection of science fiction. And then my, I'm gonna call this my overflow section, so my extra Susan Dennard and my second set of the Lunar Chronicles, and then all of my graphic novels, uh, Heartstopper, Other Boys, and Witch. I guess I also have these ones clear down here, but uh, you know, they're a little differently shaped, so they just hang out there. Oh, I then have the mid-grade shelf, which did not move. Uh, the shelf got reorganized a bit, and Rick Riordan is all still down there on the end, but uh, everything else kind of just got a, a new shuffle, and they're all still there. And now we get into where things are getting a little dicey and are gonna have to move. I started doing my road here, which I'm okay with. This is the, like this end is non-magic and then this is the magic version, but I wanna move the, um, like my lit fic, whatever section. I think I wanna move those down this end and then put some of my adult fantasy here in this corner instead. Um, because I don't have much that isn't Brandon Sanderson. A stack of Sanderson, a stack of non-Sanderson. I'm not good. I don't have a lot of adult fantasy going on here. You're gonna have to get more, obviously. Uh, I think House of Leaves and Witches are both gonna hang out here in the corner. Who knows? And then my horror section, which is 98.9% Darcy Coates and then a couple of other books on the side. And then my adult mystery thrillers, which I think are doing pretty good. And then um, technically this Count of Monte Cristo, which is more of a bookmark than a book I'll actually read. All right, not a bookmark, a book end. There we go. But yes, so I have all of those. And then these still have to be sorted. The YA uh, magical YA contemporary time period, something like that. And I also still have all of these that have to be sorted and also some Schwab. So I definitely still have some things going on here. So I'm gonna organize some more things and we'll see what's gonna happen. In your face standing side by side. works for me. So we've got, I slid all of those down and then I have my Sanderson here and then the other adult stuff here with the rest of my adult things. I think that, I think that works for me for now. Uh, I know there's space here, but I just finished this book the other day. So it's on my desk waiting for my wrap up. So we'll fit in there perfectly. And then here will be my Susan Dennard special edition spot. So I'm gonna work on that next. So that I know how much room I need for that. And then I will continue on.
So that turned out okay. I've got my UK editions, which have my favorite spines, and then Bulgarian, Taiwanese, German, Serbian editions of Truth Witch, and then my UK editions of the Luminaries and also the Truth Witch series, and then my Daphne Press editions of the Luminaries, and then the new covers of the Something Strange and Deadly series. So there's my little Susan Denner corner. Um, the others are up there. So they're a good space apart and I like them there in the corner with my Sanderson and all the other fun things that are gonna end up over here shortly. I think the next thing I'm gonna put here is gonna be my Schwab stuff. Mostly that is because I have these tens that came from, I don't know, Fay Crate, Illumicrate, I don't know, Owl Crate, one of those box things. And I like to keep stuff in these, so I like to have them close enough that I can reach them. So it would be Black London, White London, Red London. Gray London. Right? Is that the right order? You'll tell me if I'm wrong, right? Okay. And then Darker Shade of Magic series. And then just my other random Schwab books. Uh, you know what? I don't need I don't need two copies of Addie. I like this special edition. I think she's pretty. So I'm gonna keep the special edition and I'm gonna go ahead and unhaul the book of the month edition because I don't need it. And I will have you know, bright lights included. I did unhaul three Susan Denner books during this. So, were they duplicates? Yes, obviously. But the fact that I'm willing to let go of duplicates at this point is like growth, okay? <laughs> growth. Um, let's go back to the other tripod. This is the short desk one. And I'm going to sort through these guys. There are some things I definitely know that I want to have um, in specific places. Like I know that this spot right here is going to be for Medusa wherever she may be. Theoretically, she should be, I don't know, cause she's in historical, but yeah, she'll go here no matter what. Mostly because I love that book. I love the cover, it's purple. When I find it, I'll show it to you. It's not that hard to find. I just don't know where it is. I don't think much that was like directly in the corner is going to change because I did, I was happy with my specific corner here. So I know that I want my marker, K. McElderry books to go here, um, which are the um, All Our Hidden Gifts series, and my Lizelle Sanberry, and also my F.T. Lucans, and Legendborn. Um, I know that these are like some of my faves. I like having them in this spot here. So that I will continue with. And I also want to, in this corner, have my favorite book of all time, A semi of List of Worst Nightmares. Um, so I know she's gonna go over here facing out somewhere in this area. So. I will figure that out, but I know I want these here so I can go ahead and do these. I also have a plan. I might move, I think I'm gonna move my nonfiction and put my YA mystery thrillers up there. Sans Mini McGinnis. 
because some of her stuff is more magical, mythical. I think I want her with this stuff and the mystery thrillers up there. It's, 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 it's a process. Okay. That works for me. So what are we going to do? We're going to just organize this by ones I like and ones I don't like, or like my favorites, my non-favorites. What are we doing here, Jessica? Oh, I could do that and put my second set of... <sighs> This goes here. Okay, that works. Marissa Meyer over there. I want my Mindy McGinnis with these. Seeing monsters at your window. No, you can't sleep, you pretend though. We all know this is the most fun you've ever had. Do I dare put my Bardugo with my Meyer? I do. I do dare. I do dare. Oh. That made sense. You know what? I also don't need two copies of Undead Girl Gang. I like this cover, but this is the one that I have that's annotated. I think I'm going to keep the annotated one and unhaul the paperback. But I mean, she's a cute cover. Again, growth. Okay, and then anything that involves a witch. My witchy books. When you like me turn to real life and the grounds filled up with landmines we will face it standing side by side I think we've done it. Weird assortment of things. Um, YA, some of these are like historical, some are contemporary, some are magic, some are no magic. They're just all kind of mixed in together. Um, some of these are like my favorites area. As I said, Medusa, pride of place. Um, Let's see, we looked at these, we looked at these, and then I added in my Marissa Meyer, and then 
my Leibar Dugo on the end there, empty space for cats, empty space for cats, and naturally the battery died like the second as I was, you know, explaining all the things to you and now it has been another day or maybe two. I don't even remember at this point. Um, it's been a time trying to film this, but you know what? We made it. I'm fairly happy with the way the shells look. There are a couple of things that need tweaked here and there, but considering I have a stack of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen books that I'm looking at currently that need to be shelved after I film a couple of videos feeling pretty good about what's going on because I've got so much more to put on already. So we're going to do that. And uh, so it's going to be a fun evening for me. If you made it this far in the video, leave some kind of a green emoji because I have this pretty green crystal right here, right next to me. So green, why not? That is all I have for today. If you don't want to miss any future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.